Sunscreen is a really big topic on this channel. I constantly talk about the importance of wearing it, especially if you want to have a complete skincare routine. And a lot of the time people ask me if I have any favorite mineral sunscreens. So today I'm going to share them. For this video, I decided to ask my friend Julian, who is also a fellow skincare content creator, to share his thoughts on a couple of these sunscreens, one being a sunscreen that I have never tried. So I want you to meet Julian. Hi everyone, my name is Julian. I am a clinical research scientist, PhD candidate, and content creator over on Instagram at Scamander14. A lot of my content focuses on sunscreens and sun protection, and specifically what looks good on darker skin tones. So I'm really excited that Susan asked me to come on and talk about my favorite mineral sunscreen. So I've tried hundreds of sunscreens and compiled a database for them. And I've tried so few mineral sunscreens that I actively enjoy that meet all my criteria. And I don't think I don't have a crazy amount of criteria, at least SPF 50 for me, I'm very prone to hyperpigmentation. So I want to get, you know, as high protection as I can. Water resistant if possible, it's not a requirement, but it's nice. Not have an unpleasant texture or smell and not your white cast. And the white cast is obviously going to be the biggest issue with mineral sunscreens. All throughout there, Julian has tried a ton of different sunscreens and he shares those experiences on his Instagram. So definitely go follow him if you're interested. So let's go ahead and talk about mineral sunscreen. If you don't know the difference, there are mineral sunscreens and then there are chemical sunscreens. Mineral filter sunscreens are also known as inorganic filters. And so that's more of the scientific name of mineral filters, but as consumers, we know them as mineral filters. And then chemical filters are known as organic filters. Again, the scientific way is organic filters. And for consumers, we know it as chemical filters. I tend to prefer the chemical filters sunscreens or the hybrids that have a little mix of the mineral filters with the chemical filters. There are lots of reasons why people choose either or. And for me, the chemical filter sunscreens tend to be my favorites because they always feel really nice they tend to not leave any kind of white cast or specifically for me, give that like weird fluorescent tone that a lot of mineral sunscreens can give me. And when it comes to mineral sunscreen, I tend to find that a lot of them are thick and pasty and can leave some kind of a weird cast on me. And I know a lot of other people feel that way as well, but some people choose mineral filter sunscreens because they either think that they're better for the environment, which is not necessarily true or less irritating for your skin. Again, not necessarily true. I think it's all about formulation, but I understand the mindset behind it and why people decide to choose mineral sunscreens. So a lot of the time, if I'm choosing a mineral sunscreen, maybe I don't want something that's going to irritate my eyes because sometimes you get that with chemical filter sunscreens is that irritation if it runs into your eyes, whereas mineral filters, not as much. So there are a lot of pros and cons. And I know that some people just really, they are hardcore about wanting to use mineral filter sunscreens, especially women who are pregnant. So I wanna share some of my favorites. For me, I'm looking for an SPF 40 or above, usually closer to SPF 50 because I really want great protection for my skin. SPF 30 tends to be like the bare minimum for a lot of people, but for me, I really want my SPF to be a little bit higher. So I decided for this video, I would choose all sunscreens that are SPF 40 or higher. All right, so the first one is a sunscreen that you keep hearing me talk about. I've been talking about it all year, and it's this one from Tatcha. This is their Silk Sunscreen Hydrating Mineral Shield. This is SPF 50. It is PA++++++, which means that it gives really great broad spectrum protection. I love that. That's one thing that I'm constantly looking for because I have melasma. So it's helping to protect your skin from that. It also has a slight tint to it. So it has these iron oxides in it that are gonna also protect your skin from all the damaging effects that you can get from UV rays. So this gives you the protection that you need, but it also feels really nice. It has this liquidy texture to it. At first it almost felt like it was going to be a little too oily, but then when you put it on, it dries down to this very soft matte kind of finish and it doesn't leave any white cast on me. But I do think that they did a really good job in the way that they formulated this. It also has really nice skincare ingredients ingredients in it. There's niacinamide in here. I don't think I need to explain why I love niacinamide anymore. There's hyaluronic acid. It also has silk extracts in here that help to hydrate and smooth your skin. And it sits really well under makeup. So this one is a big plus for me. It's been one of my favorites this year. Those are my thoughts on the Tatcha sunscreen, but let's hear what Julian had to say. The Tatcha silk sunscreen. I like the texture of this. 
a lot. I love that they did the PA testing for it to make sure that you're getting you know, a high amount of UVA protection. However, the cast on me was just really unpleasant. It was really streaky on me. So I didn't love it, but I think that if you have like a medium to lighter skin tone, it'll probably work well for you. So not the best for me, but has a really beautiful texture and it's just really enjoyable to use as long as you don't like look at the cast. <laughs> it's also incredibly expensive and $60 for a mineral sunscreen for me is just far too much. Next up is this one from Kotz. This is the Flawless Complexion Vanishing Zinc Oxide Mineral Sunscreen. This is SPF 50. They don't have the PA++++++ on here, but it is zinc oxide 20%. So I'm gonna assume that it gives some really good broad spectrum protection. This is just an assumption, but I'm gonna make the assumption. When I first felt this, I didn't think I was gonna like the texture of it because it is a little bit thick. It also has a tint to it, but I actually really do like this one. It looks good on your skin. It does give a dewy finish to your skin, but I tend to really like that. And it doesn't actually feel super thick on your skin. For people that don't want it to be too dewy, there's a chance that you could use this as your only occlusive, as like your moisturizer on top of your skincare routine. But for me, I can actually put this on top of my moisturizer and it wears really well. This one's very pretty. I wouldn't necessarily say it's vanishing, but I know a lot of people love this sunscreen. I'll throw out there, I really love the tint that it has. It makes my skin look just like kind of flawless, like it's kind of perfect without makeup. Like if I'm gonna go out and be with the kids and stuff, it kind of looks like I just have flawless looking skin. But because of that tint, it won't work on everybody. It does feel really nice and leave a really pretty dewy finish. So I really love this, but let's hear what Julian had to say. The coat's all is complexion. So I like this product a lot. I don't have it with me right now. And it's really thick, really moisturizing. And the cast for me is minimal. It is tinted, so that helps to mitigate the cast. They've also done a really good job of making sure that the zinc oxide particles are relatively small. But overall, it's really, really nice. Next up is this new sunscreen from Ilya. This is their Sea Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40. This one was really interesting to me because it comes in three different shades and I already like a lot of their complexion products. So I was really interested when I received this one in PR. This one also has vitamin C in it. It also has niacinamide in it and it has a lantuan. So it's a really just nice skincare product, which I really think is important for a sunscreen. I really feel like your sunscreen should feel like a part of your skincare routine. I think that's super important because right now we treat sunscreen as like a secondary item for your skin. Like you only use it during, you know, vacation or on pool days or when you're gonna be outside for, you know, like a walk or at the park or something. But in reality, sunscreen should be a part of our daily skincare routine. So I really like that it has these antioxidants that are great for your morning skincare routine along with nourishing ingredients. But I also especially like that they have three different tones for this. There's a shade one, two, and three, and they range from fair to dark. And so I feel like they're trying to be really inclusive. Granted, there's only three tones. It's still a step in the right direction, in my opinion, because not all brands will put out different shades for mineral sunscreens. So they do have three different shades. But when I put this on, it looked really flawless on my skin. It actually dried down to a nice finish. It's dewy, but it's not really greasy looking as it might seem when you first touch it. And I really liked the tone. I'm shade two. So I decided to ask Julian what he thought of this as well, because I I really like it. The Ilya C Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40. This I don't like. And the reason is because this is like not a traditional sunscreen. It's really a foundation that has SPF in it. And wearing a half teaspoon for like face, ears, neck of a foundation is just really unpleasant on the skin. So I think that this is really, really tinted. So the cast with this is not the problem. It's just that it's a foundation at the end of the day. So I think that if you want to wear this like on its own as a sunscreen, you need to apply more than would be comfortable or would just look nice because at the end of the day, it's a makeup product. So I think that this would be great as a foundation where you don't need to use a lot of it in order to supplement your actual sunscreen that you're wearing underneath this. This is fine as a foundation, but as like a main sun protective product, I don't think that this is a good option. Next up is this one from Josie Moran. You've heard me talk about this one. I love this stuff. I prefer the one that is their Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47 Protect and Perfect, which means it's tinted. This feels really nice on my skin. I sometimes skip 
wearing makeup and I just put this on because I like the way it looks. It dries down to this really nice finish. It's very natural looking on my skin, but because it has a tint, it tends to not work for a lot of people. This one has a combination of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, and it has argan oil in it, which is just kind of like the staple ingredient throughout all of the Josie Marin skincare products. But the reason why I like this is because the finish is really pretty. It feels nice on your skin, the texture is beautiful. And for me, the tint that this one has looks good on my complexion. It just makes it look like I have this flawless look to my skin. And I sometimes tend to skip actual makeup to wear this for just a natural look. That said, let's hear what Julian had to say about this one. The Josie Moran Argan Daily Moisturizer SF 47. Don't love this. Again, so it's got a lot of zinc oxide. They've added a tint to it to try and counteract the white cast, but on me, it's really streaky. It's still, like rather than a white cast, it's like a brown cast. So not the most pleasant experience with this, but it smells nice, the texture is nice, but yeah, the cast on this is too much for me. Medium skin tone, lighter skin tone will probably be fine, but still don't love it. And then the last of my favorites is this one from Elta MD. This is their UV Stick Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus. This one you have heard me talk about several times before. I love this. It's great for reapplication. It's very easy to use. I love using it with my family. I can keep it in my bag. It's just really easy. I find that it's pretty dewy as far as the finish goes, but it doesn't leave a white cast on me. If I, you know, like put a really thick layer on my daughter Isla, who has a little bit of a, of a like more of a warmer skin tone than I do. She gets a little bit of a white cast, but it just kind of disappears after a few minutes. So I really like this one for me and my family, especially for reapplication and just to make it easy. That said, let's ask Julian also. The Elta MD UV stick. So I don't dislike this, but it's still not like my favorite. So the cast is still present. Like it's like minimal, so you can kind of see it there. So it still shows up on me, and even when it dries down, you can still kind of see it. And I think that with sticks in general, it's just hard to know how much to apply. So I think like three to four passes per air is probably fine, but the cast does show up on me, but it's very, very minimal. So I think that if you're a little bit lighter than me, always like a lighter skin tone, this will probably work really well for you. But on me, still very visible. Um, it's also really thick and really heavy. So it just makes it just not a pleasant experience to apply. It doesn't like quite glide on the skin. You have to really like get in there and rub to make sure that you're getting enough of it on. So this is nice, not the best for me, but yeah, this is, this is all right. So you're probably thinking, all right, so if none of these mineral sunscreens worked for Julian's skin tone, is there one that actually does work for him? And it turns out there is actually one. So I'm gonna let Julian take it away. So I have only found one out of the almost 200 that I have tried. And that is the Clear Perfection Mineral Sunscreen from Ananya Aesthetics. They are a med spa based out of Pasadena. And this product is genuinely life-changing. All right, so let me show you what it looks like. So it's just a, like relatively standard. It's like a lightweight lotion overall. Nothing crazy, but somehow they have managed to put some voodoo in this that this looks amazing on darker skin tones. This is SPF 50 plus, which is great for me. It's also water resistant for 80 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. One of my big things about my content is putting on the right amount of sunscreen. So for me, it's about a half a teaspoon for my face, my ears, and my neck. So I'm, I'm gonna put on 11 pumps of this, which is about a half a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna go ahead. All right, it seems like a lot, but this is actually the right amount that you need to put on. It's not super heavy at all, but it's also not really lightweight. So I think this would be great for drier skin. Oily skin might be just a little bit greasy, but for me, I really enjoy it. Okay, so this is right after application and there is no white cast at all. This is incredible. 
This is perfection. If you have a darker skin tone and you've really been struggling with mineral sunscreens, which I'm assuming a lot of you have, definitely get this. It is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Susan and Mixed Makeup for having me on and have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll throw out there, I tried to purchase this sunscreen and at the time it was sold out. So as of right now, I haven't had a chance to try this sunscreen, but I am very intrigued by the sunscreen and I definitely want to give it a try. So we'll go ahead and link it in the description below. A big thank you to Julian for helping out on this video. You can find him on Instagram. He's at scamander14 and he really tries out lots of sunscreens and has a sunscreen database where he breaks down not just if they worked for his skin tone, but his just overall thoughts on these sunscreens when it comes to the texture and the experience of it. If you have a favorite mineral sunscreen, definitely share in the comments below because I think it's just always helpful to get lots of feedback on the different sunscreens that are out there and available. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.